There's no exact number. It's, it's understanding what's happening in our community across the province, understanding the outbreaks that we know about and how they're evolving, making sure that we have the surveillance in place to recognize things early, both individual cases but also anybody who is part of a cluster of a case. So those are the, the things that we've been talking about around our enhanced testing protocol now, or a change in our testing protocol, so that anybody with symptoms gets tested that we have still surveillance for um, any respiratory illness that automatically gets tested for COVID-19 as well. And we've expanded our ability to have testing in uh, some of the more remote areas of the province. So it is um, very much dependent on us decreasing the numbers of new cases and new outbreaks. And we do consider, for example, um, the 40 cases related to mission don't change my, um, my assessment our assessment of where we are in terms of the pandemic trajectory in BC. So we do take those things into account. Uh, we still want to see a, a decrease in cases. We've been sort of grumbling along at a certain level for the last few weeks, which is not surprising given um, the way that we didn't have explosive growth at the beginning. So we flattened it enough that we would expect it to, to continue a little bit longer than, than some of the places where you might have a, a, a dramatic peak. Having said that, we do want to see the numbers come down. The fact that we are picking up these outbreaks is important because that tells us that our surveillance is working and that's something that's also important.